goodbye FedEx man. We'll always have a special bond. Hey Ryan, what's that? It's a bird? No, that's a plane. Oh wait, no, it's a giant box of guitars that just got here. Boom! Explosion. So, make sure you get a the full giant frame of the massive box. And the RNA music picks two bags for two people. Okay, so we have to dig all this stuff out here. And I'm still in PJs, because as any good guitar player, you don't put real clothes on until you absolutely have to. So all the packaging out. Uh oh. And then these are um, the cables. If you ordered a guitar from uh, Ryan, I imagine I should say where the guitars are from. RNA Music. Because I'm so excited. But um, if you got them from RNA Music during Indiegogo, you got a, basically a package with the Adario where you got Planet Wave cables and all kinds of sweetness stuff. So I'm sorry that That can't be a guitar. <laughs> this. <laughs> Ryan, where's our guitar at, bro? Where's the, the mini chat? No. Sorry the video's rushed. That's, Gabby's just home from school right now, so just long enough to open this. So here's one. As it like flips out of my hands. Here's two. Wait, it's like it's like a magic trick. Okay. Anything? <laughs> okay. So we got two of them out. Sorry, the guitars almost fell over, but we saved them. And then I three. Like the box weighed like... 60 pounds? 60 pounds. I, think, oh, I don't know if that's how much actually weighed. That's how much Ryan estimated it would weigh. So So that must be your hot rod with the hard shell case. Right. So we know what that one is. These two are actually the same. We look. Rock machine inside. Okay. So these are these two are the same, but um, Gabby gets to pick which one she wants out of the two because I'm super cool like that. And she actually told me she was going to. <laughs> um, but this one. That was the stipulation. That was the stipulation. That's how you get guitars out of your wife. It's like, well, you can pick which one you want. So it says R. Baker Tasty Treats. Okay, that's a show. <laughs> what does that, that say? Aw, yeah. So here's more of the Indiegogo stuff. Got a Diodario shirt. Now, this is cool. It came with strings, but they actually. Gave Brian the NYXL, which is their new brand of string that they just came out with. So I haven't Mama! tried these yet, and that's Mason, who's kind of ticked off because he's not. He's in baby jail. He's in baby jail. So here is your hardware. Oh, well, I don't know whose guitar this is. Yeah. And our cleaning cloth. So obviously these cleaning cloths no! must come with the guitars. Mm -hmm. So we'll kind of. That's that cool. We'll have there. like four of them. So I think we've had the same one for years. Right. <laughs> because they're so expensive to go buy another one. Okay. So the big reveal. This thing's heavy. Is it? Yay! Do you want to feel how heavy it is real yeah. quick? Okay. Oh my god, it is yeah. heavy. I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. We were excited because we wanted one. Um, we were both excited for the mahogany bodies. Everything we've ever had has been um, ash, or like swamp ash, and... Uh, Alder. <laughs> ha ha ha. <laughs> so, I got Ryan. Why did you package these so well? God, these look so good. Oh, that's a whole other night. Terrible sound of plastic. Terrible jumper. Please read. Forget that. Ooh, it's pretty. Is that not pretty? That one's nice. Ugh, definitely. Let me feel again. It's a it's a chunk. Yeah, it is. I like it. Yep. And you can see it's really cool. Now, uh, as you were mentioning, the not having frets is kind of strange. Leave the gig bag alone, freak. It's only strange for me because all my guitars always have had them. So now that they don't, it's strings feel really good. right. Strings feel really nice. I think these are these must be nines. So yeah, you can see Ryan did a really good job of like conditioning the fretboard and cleaning it up. 
pickups are all level. There's our switch. Oh, I didn't know that they, they have a coil split on them. For the Does bridge. ours have a packing peanut in it? No. <laughs> um, so here's this one. I think that one's fine. <laughs> of course. <laughs> So, and like I said, the other guitar is exactly the same. Some people, when we had said we were getting two of the same one, they're like, well, can't you guys just share a guitar? But that never works with us because no. I like my guitars to be in mint condition and you throw yours around. I like to play mine. I so, also play mine, but I'm very, very nice to you're them. You're a sissy. So this is the one titled Rock Machine. What was mine titled? Yours was Tasty Treats or something like that. Hmm. There's a message from Ryan. Let me see. TJQC set up, but good to know that anytime a guitar is shipped, it's normal. Move a bit. Also, many people prefer different setups. Thanks so much, Baker's Ryan. Then that just basically. Chicken scratch. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Looks a lot better than my handwriting. <laughs> She's like, what is happening in here? <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously, um, the, the same kind of dealio here with this one. We had to open these up in the living room because there's just not enough room. There's too many things to hit on the guitar. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to hit other guitars, and the box was enormous. What are we going to do with all our, like, what are they called? Guitars? I don't no, know. they're like the little rods that come with them. The Jackson's. Oh, the, Allen. The, Allen, Allen wrenches. This one doesn't have, <laughs> these don't have those. Because these well, don't have those in the bag. Oh, that's, it's our trim bar and an extra spring. Oh, wait. There is an Allen wrench. Let's see. Huh, that must be for the truss rod then. Well, I mean, even when they don't have Floyd Roses, they always come with them. Yeah. And, and then I'll. Your and... Yeah, and I'll do some close ups of this if you don't have time to. And that way people can really see the tops. Because the tops are different on all of these. Mm hmm. Well, we can do like. Because I don't have to be back until 1 30. Okay. But I want to get there a little early so I can get a parking spot. <laughs> <laughs> this is hands down the most difficult part of the whole thing. Well, I don't know, you opening that box up was pretty intense. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan told me, like, hope you can open this with all the tape I put on. Yeah. Well, and we have, like, the dullest knives ever. Yeah, that's true. Ooh, Dull that for eating pretty. steak. Yeah, this one has an awesome top on it. I think that was mine. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, because what was the one? I think the other one had the swirl on it. There's a little, yeah, there's a little swirl. So, I don't know if that's, like, an imperfection or not, but... I just think and love it. I love that it's, it's your mom's not an perfect. I'd really another your mama. <laughs> so there's that one. Like I said, we'll do close ups in a second. Get back in your pack and play. He's like, I'm ready to rock. He's the which one's mine, guys. <laughs> oh, um, this one is super, super cool. Cause like the other ones, how the tops are all kind of different. The naturals are really different. And Swamp Ash has one of the. You know what you're thinking. One of to me the coolest um, like wood grains to it ever more sweet ticks. There's another one. Ooh. Green. Strings for each of the guitars. Except I'm really excited to try these. Yeah. And the 46. Now that I've, well, obviously she gets the case. <laughs> so yeah, I think this is the one I'm most excited for. It's just like everything Who would have guessed? A natural I want, like, finish. A natural finish, one pickup. So yeah, it's like the perfect guitar because it looks like someone literally went and cut down a tree and put pickups on it. <laughs> and that, Ooh. man, look at that. It looks ten times better in person. <laughs> that The Tone King, every time I watch his video, when he got this one, he kept saying the smell. I'll sniff it. Want to smell the guitar? It smells like shoes. Sounds like wood. This is stinking cool. Look at, I mean, is that not sweet? Ryan did a really good job. What's the back look like? Ooh. What's really cool is look at the um, the stripes through the the um, the beveling in the sides on it. It's really nice and contoured. <laughs> Pepper's like. Don't eat my shoe. <laughs> Makes them with the most possible food. Yeah, this is so cool. Monkey Lord approved. Dig it. And, um, so I, I'm actually, I can't remember what pickup this has in it. Look, another Duncan. Remember, like, 
a month ago, we had like no Duncans in any of our guitars, and now we have it in all of them. And they just emailed me back, so I got to talk to them here in a minute. But um, but yeah, so I think it's a, a 1000 series Floyd Rose, which is totally cool with that. Okay, it also, so they all must like uh, coil cap. That's nice with one pickup because it gives you a little bit of variation in the tone. And one thing that is um, sweet about all these guitars is that they get here quick. So uh, it took like a, a crazy route and then didn't update and tortured us and said so they were going to be here yesterday. But all of them have been perfectly in tune. How's the setup on it? Perfect. Ryan did a great job. I really, um, Ryan, we were talking how I like my action. The, the tiny bit higher than normal, and this goes exactly like how I would set my guitar up. And again, he did a really good job conditioning the fretboard. Everything's real clean. The chrome looks sweet. Pick up level. I think that's kind of cool. The neck joint is different. <laughs> really? The, um, the neck joint is different than on the other one. But yeah. So now we gotta go try out all these guitars and give them a real run through. <laughs> okay. And if we don't release this kid, he's gonna like blow up. Yeah, so we gotta let him out. Release him from his cage. So I wanted to change shirts to a more appropriate shirt. Not that ACDC is ever inappropriate, but... <laughs> So we're not going to play through both of them. Or our... Okay. And this one, although the cleans sound good, we're not going to do any cleans. This is a rock machine. It's either off. Thank you. 
Alright, so here is a close up of the hot rod. You can kind of get the full effect of it now. You really see that um, the wood grain in it and all that stuff. It's really, really cool. The camera's kind of making it a little bit more white than what I wanted it to, but it's okay, you can still see it. It looks, I mean, it's just like, uh, I love the, the natural look of this. You can tell I'm going to really like this guitar. The neck feels good. There we go. So there's all of that for that one. We'll go to Gabby's ML1. So here is Gabby's ML1. And, well, both of them are absolutely beautiful, but her top is just, like, amazing. There's those little swirls that we were talking about in the body. So there's nothing wrong with it. I, I actually really like them being in there. It kind of makes it a little bit more unique than the other ones. And we still got to take some of the covers off the pick guards. But there's the top on hers. And you can see the binding, which I really like. Um, you got your volume, tone, three-way selector. Then, see the back of it? nice big old slab of mahogany and Gabby was saying how she really likes how white the the back of the the maple on the neck is and then my guitar and then here is my guitar so you can see the tops are similar hers is a little bit more uh, kind of like pronounced than mine but they've lined them up very well and I will go ahead and remove this on camera the pickup cover you know what, I'm just going to leave it, because I don't know how to do those very <laughs> efficiently. So yeah, so those are the guitars. Thank you so much, uh, Ryan and Angela down at RNA Music. Thank you, Chapman Guitars. Thank you, just guitars in general. Cool, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you would, please subscribe. I'm going to get to playing these guitars. That's what they're here for, not for looking at. They're here for playing. So I will see you next time. Peace out, keep rocking, and have a good day. And then here's the stuff as the like, little kid show continues to play in the background um, that came with it that I didn't really get to spend much time on. Um, some cool picks from Ryan, um, and then Diodario teamed up with them when they ran their Indiegogo campaign. And you also got an, um, an American Stage Cable, which is really cool. I'm excited to try that. Some strings, which I said in the earlier in the video, were the MYXL, which I have not tried yet. So I'll be putting those on here and a Diodario shirt. So lots of cool stuff uh, came with the Indiegogo and like the pre-orders. And we found a new use for your boxes too. Ready? Woohoo!